I'm going to demonstrate how to weave on a 4 inch equilateral triangle pin configuration of the total loom. To make one you have to have three 60 degree corners and three pin bars of equal length. It might be a 4 inch, an 8 inch, a 12 inch, whatever you decide. We're going to do a 4 inch because it's quicker. And to put them together you just put the peg through the large peg hole and drop a screw through the screw hole and run it down. You don't have to run it down very hard. An equilateral triangle is pretty stable regardless. To actually start weaving, you tie a slip knot in the free end. Slip it over if you're right-handed or if you want to weave right-handed. You slip it over the left top and tighten it down. Let me go across the face of the top row, around the end pin, the right hand pin in the top row, around the second pin. This counts in, I count this pin, the corner pin, in both rows. So that's the second pin in the vertical row, around the second pin on the end end up between the first and second pin on the top row. To weave, I actually am using a latch hook that I got from Joanne Fabric because they're so nice and thin. The spacing on a total loom is set to give you a good tight fabric. You can always make it looser. Uh, use a smaller yarn, skip every other pin. Getting the fabric nice and close, a close weave is, is to me the challenge. Now to actually weave, it's just typical, over and under. Between the next two pins, I like to throw a loop around there so the yarn doesn't have to go around that tight curve and wear on it. Although, I honestly, with continuous strand, it's not a great big issue. Bring it over, drop it over the next pin down the side. Take the free end and run it across. And drop it over the next pin. And up between the next pin on the top. So, we're between the second and third pin here. We're between, we're around the third pin there. We're around the third pin there. And that's one pass. Making the return pass, just a matter of going over, under, over, beside the next unoccupied pin. Grabbing your loop. Trip the latch against that pin. There we are. Then you're ready to pull through. Drop it over the next unoccupied pin on the side. Pull across. To the next unoccupied pin on the starting side and between the next two unoccupied pins and that's your full pass. Under, over, under, over, under, through, catch, flip, back through and over, and take it across, and all the passes are the same. I'm just filming 
to pick a good one so that you don't have to put up with my fumbling. There you are. Okay, this is our last pass. We have one pin there, two pins there, all occupied there, all occupied there. Fed it through, pick up my loop, flip my latch, drag it back. Very nice. Throw it over these two. Tighten everything up, pack it down. This one is coming out over, so we need to go under, over, under, over, under, all the way down. We go over, under, and over. Okay, then it's just a matter of putting the yarn through. And then just bring it on through.